Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of a requested look. So when I posted my um, Lily Lo fairy tale collection and I showed that I picked up Gunmetal and Khaki Spark from um, Lily Lolo, um, I believe it was Lenka said so she really wants to see them in action because they're on her wish list of ones to get. And then also on my previous video, Celestia Eyes left a comment saying she would like to see a festive kind of cool grey silver look. So I'm going to combine the two and use like the gun metal for a silver grey smoky eye for this festive look today. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. So as you can see I've done my base everything. I'm going to focus more on the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to kick this off using the Rose Quartz palette from Ether Beauty. I'm going to start off with this dark grey shade here, which is called Grounding. This one just here. And I'm going to start working this onto the lid. I think I'm just going to take it all over the lid. And now I'm going to do is take some of the lighter grey in this palette, which is called... Aphrodite on a fluffy brush, this one's a pure fluffy brush. And I'm going to start blending out this grounded shade. I'm going to do my usual trick where I pick up some pressed powder on the fluffy brush. Just because I don't want to add any other colour to this look, then this will just help then further soften edges where I need to. I'm going to take a pencil brush and take some of the grounded shade first, the darker grey, and just run that along the lower lash line. I'm going to lay down some more eye primer across the lid. I'm not doing this like a cut crease or anything like that, I'm just going to place it just all over the lid. I'm going to pat it on. So I've got some of a gun metal in the lid. I'm going to pick it up with a flat brush. Get right in there. And I go ahead and place this on top of the eye primer. So I've actually just gone in with my finger instead, I just think it'd be easier. But it's really pretty, it's kind of like, I was expecting gunmetal to be like a darker shade of um, silver. It's quite a light-ish silver, but it's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more grounded and just build up ever so slightly this outer portion just to deepen it again. Okay, and then I'm not going to use that shade for the highlight shade, the gunmetal, because I don't think it works. I'm actually going to take the rose quartz and have something a bit different in the inner corner and possibly use it as a brow bone. Highlight as well. pink instead. And actually I'm going to pick up some more gun metal and actually use it just a little bit along this lower lash line as well. And then just tidy up with my concealer brush a little bit. And I'm going to go in more with grounded just to deepen up the outer portion of the lower lash line now. Right, I'm going to load up my lashes with my Lily Lola Big Lash Mascara. Okay, that's the eye portion done. I was going to go in the nude lip, but actually I want to mix it up and I want to go with the red lip. And I recently purchased the Benacos Red Lip Line and the Benacos Lipstick and Catwalk that were on my kind of wish list. Um, so I thought I'd pair it with that today because I think actually grey and red could look really pretty together. For makeup looks, that's what I'm gonna do. That is a very pretty red lip liner. It's very different from my um, 
my Lily Lola one. My Lily Lola one, I think, is a bit more pink toned in the red. But that by itself is actually really pretty. So now I'm going to the lipstick and catwalk. Which actually is a slightly deeper red, I think. But I'm sure it would work. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, so that lipstick is definitely a slightly deeper red than the lip liner, but again, a very beautiful red. And I don't really have red like this in my Clean Beauty, or even in my regular, like my general um, makeup collection, actually. This is a really beautiful red, and like I said, I think it goes quite nicely with the grey eyes as well. Uh, I do like that girl metal shade. It's slightly softer than I was expecting. I don't know why I thought it would be much more like a deeper grey silver but it's much more lighter which is pretty because then it means it's not too heavy on the eyes um, but yeah I really like how this look turned out so I hope you guys enjoyed too thank you so much for watching leave any requests for future videos down below and I will see you in my next festive makeup look